why hasn't the nuclear threat issue gotten as much attention as maybe it should have? The Cold War ended without a nuclear weapon ever being used, which was a source of great relief. And there was just a sense that when the Cold War ended, the threat of nuclear weapons ended with it. And that's just not true. Uh, there are 16,000 weapons still, and every one of those nuclear weapons is a potential accident waiting to happen. We stopped investing in the infrastructure of nuclear weapons 30 years ago. So it's sort of amazing that the computer that controls our launch of our nuclear weapons is a 1976 IBM Series 1 computer. Now, you know, businesses don't use that kind of technology anymore. So it's sort of unnerving that we have this nuclear infrastructure that's so old and potentially unreliable. I'm so curious, how can Silicon Valley and technology companies really help solve some of these big problems of nuclear energy? So Silicon Valley needs to pay attention because it would take a grapefruit's worth of weapons grade plutonium to level a city the size of San Francisco, which would leave tens of thousands of people dead, hundreds of thousands of people injured. And we know that the city would be uninhabitable for years, if not decades. So the economic consequences of something like that happening in a major city are almost unimaginable. We also know that this is a story that hasn't been told well for 20 or 30 years. There are many people who are unaware that we have any nuclear weapons at all, let alone that we have 16,000 of them. So we have both a media problem, a storytelling problem, and we have a set of technology problems that relate to everything from the global supply chain to the safety and security of fissile materials that the technology community can help us with.